Hey Sagittarius, this is Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Just getting ready to do your mermaid guidance. So let's get into it. I am outside. Happy 4th of July. I'm out at the campground. Got the RV going. So anyways, let's see what the mermaids have for you. Spirit, what is the mermaid guidance for? Sagittarius. What's the mermaid guidance for Sagittarius? And we have the Vitea. I think there was another sign. I cannot remember who it was. The secret of happiness is consciously uniting with the best in you. So that is the number 50 card. So this is really about being yourself, I feel like, and, and understanding your life purpose, which does bring out the best in you, your highest good. Any other messages for Sagittarius? And we have Sedna, the sea goddess. Through virtue, you find your place in the world, number 48, which breaks down to a three. Okay. All right, let's see what the book has to say. They have really um, magical little stories that go along with each of these. The Vitea, the keyword is intuition. In a love relationship, you will be able to work miracles because the half-woman, half-porpoise Vitea represents the unknown damsel. Not only will you meet a stranger, but someone you already know will want to know you more. Symbolic of high virtue, the patience of nature and returning to the rich subconscious, the Vitea intimates that you know your future and need only wait to enjoy something infinitely special unfold. You will be in high spirits and pleased with the way your life is going because everything is about to improve for you. You are entering a phase that dreams are made of, not only in love, but in personal ambitions too. So this is talking about foresight and, and being able to see um, your future. So this may be that you're going to have, you know, a real activation to your third eye if you don't already. All right, so let's see. Oh, it got real dark. The sun went behind a cloud there. Okay, so number 48, the keyword is virtue, Sedna the sea goddess. She protects you, conferring a happy, healthy, and wealthy long life. Her influence promotes intuitive and instinctive good, watchfulness, education, and natural diet. Like the waves of the sea, she surfs in a golden chariot. There is no question of preferences or conflicting tendencies. Unless you stay pure, the white foam of the waves on which you will ride will subside with the swell of the ocean into the opposite of what you are aiming for. Making the right choices will bring a steady increase in good fortune that begins a promising wave of exciting new times. Move on and you will feel very blessed with the way your life flows. Happiness beckon so I feel like this is really talking about that pure intentions and staying focused on your intentions in the sense of you know um, coming up with a plan for what you want to manifest and having pure intention and pure focus not letting things sidetrack you not letting things deviate you your environment affect your path easier said than done but if that is your intention that's what will happen all right let's see how this is playing out in the now for Sagittarius Okay, and we get the Eight of Pentacles, definitely talking about the hard work and the, um, you know, becoming more in tune with your intuition as far as your, um, sorry, there was a loud truck going by. 
um, as far as working towards what you are trying to manifest. Um, this also speaks of being, you know, very talented at your job or whatever you're, you know, you're focused on. You're very talented and um, people are taking notice. All right. Any other cards to come out? Nothing wants to come out. Oh, here we go. Six of Pentacles. This is talking about that, you know, give and take, that balance of creating a flow there. You know, as you put out, that's what you get back. And it can, it creates that flow that you need in order to manifest. And it's like understanding that sometimes you need support. And then there will be times when you have to support others. You know, and it's it can definitely talk about generosity. And this is in the challenge position. So we'll dig deeper into that once I get the cards laid out. So what else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have Dreamer of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is, uh, this is the Page of Cups. This is about putting love in everything you do. Allowing, you know, your heart to guide you. This is where your... Um, confidence you know your solar plexus chakra this is what we're talking about keeping that clear and um, focused on your manifestations we have the sorcerer as the outcome which is the devil so this could be about really um, you know having a strong desire for something but because it's coming out after we have the sea goddess and talking about keeping things pure, understanding that you don't want something to, you know, poison your thoughts, poison your heart against what you would like to accomplish, you know, doing it for pure reasons, not, um, not any kind of bad intentions as to why you want to manifest what you are focused on. You know, there's, this could be speaking of, um, you know, black magic and, and trying to um, bend things to your will when it's against somebody else's will, which doesn't, it never seems to work out right. You have this snake who is, you know, poisoning this cup and it's like, you know, that can really poison everything for you if you allow that to. So let's get deeper into this. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? And we have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Autumn. So this is really about working hard towards your legacy. It could be all about money, not, but you cannot let money rule you. It says, take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Oh, sorry about that. Um, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. So this could have to do with something that, um, you know, definitely have to do with family and your security. And so it's, it's, you know, the way that you go about getting this has to be honest and pure or else it will not, um, you know, benefit your family the way you intend it to. This could also, the Six of Pentacles could also talk about having to put in the hard work in order to receive that. It's, it may not fall from the sky. We don't have that here, right? It's not going to fall from the sky. It has to be earned. It has to be worked hard for, and then you will receive it. You will get your just due. Okay, so we get the Five of Wands to clarify this um, Six of Pentacles. So it says opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. And I think that's what we're talking about here. It's about what can you work hard for, not what you can get, you know, that ill-gotten gain. That is not going to benefit you in the end, right? You have to um, be, um, you know, 
pure of mind and intention, pure of heart in order. And the Dream of Cups is all about that pure of heart, pure emotion, intention. And we have the sun to clarify the dreamer of cups. Page of cups it says plans that work, will work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. And gratitude for the blessings of life. Recognizing already what you do have. And being so grateful for what you do have. That brings about that flow, right? This flow in the Six of Pentacles energy. You know, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. To have that clarify the page of cups, it's about putting love in everything you do and seeing the good, okay? Why is the sorcerer here for Sagittarius? And we have the seven of summer, which is the seven of cups. Um, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So this is about not allowing that, right? It's not allowing there to be confusion. You know that you're looking at positive outcomes, pure intentions. That's where you're going to um, have clear results. You know, when you allow money to be the only reason or you allow yourself to succumb to any kind of dishonesty or, you know, if something that makes things good for you makes it bad for somebody else, maybe that's not the right option here because, you know, there's energy that's attached to money. It's how did you get that money and that's how it will serve you, right? Okay, so let's get some guidance. To close this out. Spirit, what's the guidance for Sagittarius? We have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. A soul tribe. And I really did get a sense of family here. So it could be speaking about... Um, you know, your family, but it could also be talking about anyone that's in your environment that may be toxic. You know, we have the devil card here. There could be toxicity that you're not seeing. So this is about recognizing that and that could be causing this five of wands conflict. Um, but I feel like when you are focused with a pure heart, pure intention, those things will fade away if as long as you stay on, you know, on stick to your plan and your, um, you know, focused idea of what, how you're pursuing this manifestation. Any other guidance? Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. This is all about, you know, the devil card is all about those um, things that make you feel bound and tied to something that you don't want to be tied to, but you feel like you have to, releasing that. And it is it is saying you have protection. The sun is here. That's protection. Um, you know, it's divine, divinely protected toward victory. All right. So those are the messages that came through for you, Sagittarius. I do hope this helped you. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a happy 4th of July. Those of you in the U.S., stay safe. And remember that the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.